Hello everyone. Today I am going to be making this adorable mini owl army grimace. These are super simple and easy to make and they also make the perfect keychains. To make these we are going to need two different colors of yarn. One for the face and the wings and one for the belly of the owl. A little bit of white for the eyes and a little bit of yellow to embroider on the beaks. You will need some pins and a needle to sew and embroider the facial features. You will also need a stitch marker. I am going to be using a paper clip for that. You will need a pair of scissors and a crochet hook. Some black beads. These are some plain white beads that I painted with black nail polish. You will need to stick them on with some fabric glue. And you will need some pillow fluff to stuff your amic room in. Additionally, if you want to turn them into keychains, you will need one of these blank key rings. You can buy them online or you can get them from a broken keychain like I have done here. So, let's get started. For army creamies, I would recommend using a crochet hook that is a couple of sizes smaller than what is recommended for your yarn. For my yarn, it is recommended to use a 4mm crochet hook. So, here I am using one that is 3mm. Start by making a magic circle using the color you want to use for the belly of your owl. To make the magic circle, take your yarn and loop it up and over your finger like so and then up. Make a cross and then insert your hook underneath the cross. Take your loop and pull it up. Chain 1 and this completes your magic circle. Chain 1 to start. In this magic circle, I am going to be making 6 single crochets. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the loop and pull up. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. This makes one single crochet, let's do it again. Insert your hook and pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. We are going to make four more of these. So one, two, three and four. Now we are at the end of our first round. I am going to pull on this thread to cinch the circle. In the first round we have six stitches. I am going to mark the last stitch of the round. This amigurumi is worked in continuous rounds. There is no need to join at the end of each round. For the second round, I am going to be making two single crochets in each of these six single crochets. So, we are increasing in every stitch. I am going to directly make one single crochet. I am going to insert my hook into this first V here. And pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. I will insert once again in the same V. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. I will continue to make the same thing on the rest of the 5 stitches. 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. Now we are at our last stitch. So I am going to remove my stitch marker and place two more single crochets into that stitch. 11 and 12. Always mark the last stitch of your rounds. At the end of round 2, we are going to have 12 stitches. We will move on to round 3. For round 3, we are going to be making one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch and then again one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. At the end of this round, you are going to end up with 18 single crochets. So 1 in the first stitch and then 2 in the next stitch. One, 
in the next stitch and two in the next stitch and so on I am going to meet back up with you after the end of this round now I am at the last two stitches I am going to place one stitch in the second last stitch and then remove the stitch marker and then place two single crochets into the last stitch if you are not placing two single crochets in the last stitch then there has been problem with your counting and you have to recheck it and do it again maybe at the end of the third round we have 18 stitches for the fourth round we are just going to do one single crochet in each of these stitches there has, is no increase in the fourth round so one two three four sixteen seventeen and eighteen at the end of round four you will also have 18 stitches always mark the last stitch of your round we are going to continue for two more rounds in the same way rounds 5 and 6 for both of the rounds we are going to place one single crochet in each of the stitches and we will have 18 stitch count at the end I will meet back up with you once we are done with doing all the 6 rows here I am at the end of my 6th round One, two, three, four, five, and 6 now we are going to have to change colors to do that start off by making a normal single crochet but instead of yarning over with this color we are going to yarn over with our new color like so and just like that we have changed our color leave a little bit of tail of the previous color and snip your yarn now continue working as you were with the new color of yarn you will want to work over the yarn tails to weave them in Joining this way makes it looks very seamless and it does not involve any knots. I am going to continue like this on round 7 and I will meet back up with you at the end of this round. I am at the end of round 7. I have only 2 stitches left. We are going to do the same thing as round 7 for rounds 8, 9, 10 and 11. So 4 more rounds. I am going to complete the 4 rounds and meet back up with you. Here I have completed my 11 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. At this point I am going to stuff the body. After doing that, you are going to want to sew the opening shut. To do that, you can either use a needle and thread or I am going to be using slip stitches. To do that, take your hook and then insert your hook into the next stitch and then into a stitch directly opposite to it. Take your yarn and pull through the two stitches and then pull through the loop on your hook do the same thing again 
insert into the next stitch insert into the stitch directly opposite to it yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through the loop on your hook continue doing that until the end of the opening I am almost at the end of the opening for the last stitch I am going to do a slip stitch and then chain one leave a tiny tail and snip the yarn now we are done with the body of the owl to make the eyes make a magic circle using your white yarn the same way as before chain one to start and then we are going to place six single crochets into the magic circle Now I will cinch the circle closed and here the pattern will be slightly you will have to join to the first stitch of the round to do that insert your hook into the first stitch yarn over and pull up a loop then pull the loop through the loop on your hook after doing that you are going to have to chain one and place two more single crochets into the same stitch and then you are going to have to place two single crochet in the rest of the five stitches At the end of the round you will have 12 stitches this is not a stitch this is just a fake stitch that was created by the slip stitch earlier now you are going to have to join to the first stitch of the round like so leave a long tail for sewing and pull through then insert your hook to the other side like so and pull your yarn through to the back to make it easier for sewing you can also go ahead and snip this tail to make it easier. Now I am going to sew these two eyes on using a yarn needle. Sew on your eye, position it however you would want, and then catch a loop from the body, and then catch a loop from the eye, and stitch it them both together continue with this in this way the stitches are hidden in the back and the front looks nice and neat Once you are done sewing the eye on, insert your yarn through the back and pull it out like so. And sew on the other eye the same way. 
After you finish sewing on the other eye, bring the yarn tail back and out through the same hole as the last tail. Tie a knot. Snip the two tails. And then push the knot into the body using the back of your needle or your crochet hook like so. It gets hidden nicely. For the beak, take a length of your yellow yarn and then insert it through the back and out to the front. Once you are happy with the shape of your beak, insert the yarn again and then bring it out the other side. Tie a knot. Snip the two tails. and then hide the knot just like before fiddle around with your embroidery to make it into a nice shape to make the wings make a magic circle in the same way as before Now we are going to be doing double crochets into this magic circle instead of single crochets. So instead of a one chain we are going to have to do two chains to get to the right height. Now I am going to be doing double crochets into the circle. To make a double crochet yarn over, insert your hook into the ring and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again yarn over insert your hook into the loop and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two do six of these in total After doing 6 double crochets, since your circle closed, we are not going to be working in rounds. So I am going to chain 1 and turn my work. Into each and every one of these 6 stitches, I am going to place 2 single crochets. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. At the end of the work, we are going to chain one, leave a long tail for sewing, snip the yarn, and pull the yarn through.
make two of these sew them on on either side of your owl position them into your place and stitch it together After stitching on the wing, insert your hook and bring it out the other side, like so. Do the same thing with your other wing. I have done the same with my other wing. So once I am finished stitching it on, I will bring the yarn back of the same hole. I'm going to tie a knot snip the tails and then push the knot through like so I'm also going to hide this tail into the body. There we go. Finally, I'm going to place the two beads for the eyes. Use fabric glue to secure them in place. Finally, if you want to turn it into a keychain, then loop your keychain into one of the top stitches of the army grooming, and there you go, your keyring is complete. If you have any feedback for my channel or any request for future video, please leave it in the comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.